Can you really take your oral micronized progesterone gel caps vaginally? I recently received a comment from one of you that your doctor wouldn't prescribe this because it wasn't considered standard of care. Fair. It's not the standard of care. We use oral progesterone gel caps vaginally as an off-label treatment in women who don't tolerate oral progesterone. But is it safe? Does it offer uterine protection? So in a study by Cicinelli in 2000, they found that 90 milligrams of vaginal progesterone created concentrations in the uterine lining that were 10 times higher than 50 milligram progesterone injections. That's because vaginal application delivers progesterone to the uterus before it passes into your blood. Now the fertility field research shows that 90 milligrams of progesterone vaginal gel works about as effectively as 200 milligrams of oral progesterone. Other studies found that using 100 milligram oral progesterone capsules vaginally provides similar endometrial protection as taking them orally. The British Medical Society acknowledged in their 2022 guidelines that taking oral progesterone capsules vaginally is a viable option for women who can't tolerate oral progesterone and that it should be dosed similarly to oral micronized progesterone and as a side note, it does need to be the pharmaceutical grade Prometrium or Eutrogestin that's the soft gel cap to use it vaginally. You don't want to put tablets or other unresearched forms of progesterone into the Netherlands. So yes, while off-label, it's perfectly acceptable and quite well tolerated to take your oral micronized progesterone capsules vaginally. Always discuss with your physician before taking this particular down under plunge. And this? This is a reminder that there's more than one right way to do something. So if what you're doing isn't working, ask your doctor for other options.